Between shows like the Great Food Truck Race and culinary festivals across the country, it may seem like the food truck craze has swept America while skipping eastern Iowa. Well, now a group of Iowa City entrepreneurs is trying to change that. CBS 2 News reporter Brittany Borgie tells us that the whole thing has to do with a lot more than just slinging burgers. Right, Brittany? Yeah, Scott and Tiffany. Right now, there are no ordinances that allow for food trucks to set up shop outside of specific events like the farmer's market. But a group of food truck owners has worked with the city of Iowa City to start a food truck pilot pro program. The business owners are hoping to bring their food and their ideas to more people. We made it. Yeah. We might be Hi. The first Iowa City Farmers Market this year was packed, and the line for the lunchbox was long. I couldn't find you guys to do that. We have great burgers, they're all hand patted, fresh cut fries, our onion rings are hand dipped, so everything comes out that window fresh. There we go. Owner Liz Wolford decided to start the truck last year after 30 years as a mechanical engineer. Just got tired of corporate world and wanted to start my own business. Her nephew Chris George got on board as the chef. It was a perfect match. Five. 10 and 20. Thank you. Thanks. But Liz and Chris aren't just working to change their own lives. They want to help change Iowa City's laws, too. After taking public input at a recent forum, they've helped city staff draft the very beginnings of a pilot program. Thank you. The program will test how much business the food trucks can generate on their own in a given location while not taking away from other restaurants. Brick and mortar restaurants and mobile vending food trucks coexist. Um, and sometimes it takes a while to figure out uh, what that relationship needs to be. I would not set my burrito truck up in front of a burrito restaurant because that's just not cool. <laughs> Kyle Seek is the owner of Local Burrito, a food truck specializing in, you guessed it, burritos full of local ingredients. He wants to sell more food, but not at the expense of the community. It's, it's a small town with a big city feel. It pays to cooperate and work together as much as possible. And something about Kyle's philosophy is paying off because Local Burrito isn't just a food truck. Kyle rents space in a commercial kitchen to cook for his wholesale operation. You can actually find Local Burrito in 16 different stores between Iowa City and Cedar Rapids. That's essentially what Local Burrito's mission is, to uh, localize common food products and encourage people to you know, start their own local businesses. And in that process, Kyle hopes to give other people the same sense of productivity and pride he gets from rolling tortillas. We need a whole army of people that are able to preserve food and value add it, you know, do something to it, chop it, preserve it, can it cook it and those are all job opportunities which can be localized here. We don't need to be importing all our food in the heartland. You got it. Kyle and Liz both hope that by creating a place for food trucks to set up shop in Iowa City, they'll help strengthen that connection to local food, bring people to it and hopefully get them hungry for more. And I really enjoy cooking food for people too. <laughs> That's a lot of reasons which motivate me and um, just can't quit. Iowa City hopes to start the pilot program this summer and run it again this fall once students are back in town. They are considering three different locations for the trucks to be able to park at certain times. Once the program is officially nailed down, it will get presented to City Council for a vote. Covering the corridor, Brittany Borgie, CBS 2 News. Now kind of like the app for Find the Herkies, we need an app for Find the Food find Trucks. Food trucks.